Can we mix the Ugo no. beer? No. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not. I would have got kicked out the court. Movie right now. Looks like we should kind of be walking. This, that, or you flying across the, the roof. What's going on guys? We are in Seoul, Korea right now. Now when most people come here, when they're thinking about food, they're thinking about Korean barbecue, mm -hmm. tofu soup, maybe Korean versions of Western food like fried chicken, and maybe even a few stews like budae jjigae. But a style of food that they're probably not thinking about that's actually having a little bit of a revival right now is traditional royal Korean cuisine. So today we are at Korea House and we are gonna be having an ancient, dynastic, delicious Korean experience. And big shout out to KK Day, Asia's top travel platform to help book this activity. And you know we could not do this episode without some friends that are living in Seoul. We met up with Jasmine and Julia. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Pizza Korean History. Ladies, have you ever had this style of food before in your life? Never. Kapsida. Which means let's go. Let's go, let's go. You know what the key is? That these are from the 14th century Joseon Dynasty style of cooking that was mm -hmm. big from 1400 all the way to 1900, but now it's coming back. So we have the peanut porridge. Uh, Koreans call it juke. We call it juk or canto, but. Ooh. That's good though. I feel like that is like a good hangover thing to eat. I have never had potato wine before. Yo, I had rice wine, I've had grape wine, not potatoes. <sighs> Ginseng? Oh no, it's chestnut. 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 But it's not cooked. Whoa. Have you guys had this chestnut before? Mm, not raw, but you know, they usually have it during traditional events. And what is this? Seafood salad. Okay. Seafood salad. This is, this is ancient? Oh, it's so oh. cute. Well, I'm, I'm interested to see what the, the dressing tastes like. Yo, it has squid. It's got a little bit of shrimp in there. You guys, this reminds me of when we eat at Korean barbecue and they give you the potato salad. Yeah. This is like a lotus root sandwich, actually. There's something inside yeah. of it. This is like a cabbage dumpling. Yeah. Really good. Mm. Like in right? It's like cabbage dumpling? No, that was good. Yeah. Yo, shout out to the cabbage dumpling. <laughs> this is a different varieties of meat, but the good thing about them is that they're not cooked but steamed. I think that was tongue, and it was good, because <laughs> I like tongue. I like beef tongue. <gasps> tongue? There's panchans here that look a little bit different from your average, you know, panchan you would get at a BCD tofu house. The things I notice immediately are anchovies with almonds. This is fish ball and mushrooms, sweet and sour style, also known as kangjong. Oh, so sweet and sour is a traditional Asian flavor. There we go. I got you. I got a fish ball and I got a mushroom covered in sweet and sour sauce. It's late. This tastes like spaghetti. Mm. I, don't know, I don't know if you guys got that vibe. Yo, that is by far the fanciest bibimbap I've ever seen in my entire life. Can we mix the bulgogi in? No. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely don't mix the bulgogi in. <laughs> Clearly, you are not from the Joseon royal family. I would have got kicked out the court. Bulgogi is a very popular dish in the States, so to try it, you know, in an ancient setting, man, this is interesting. You ain't seen bulgogi like that. Bulgogi has always been a really interesting thing to me because it's like, people put it in tacos now. Mm. But obviously, clearly, it's from hundreds of years ago. In Korea, we even have bulgogi hamburger in McDonald's. That's very good. And it's cheap. You should say it in Korea, mashi sa. Yes. Very good. Mashi You guys ready to mix your uh, bibimbap? Yeah. You already started. Babe, did you know you're mixing with a golden spoon? That's did a good point. That? That's a good point. And this ain't even silverware, this is golden, goldenware. You know it's fancy bulgogi when you're hitting the bowl and it sounds like this? That's not how the worker though. Yeah, I'm gonna get mad. This is tenjang jjigae. It has a kind of pungent smell. I like it a lot. I can see why the king and the queen, people in the royal court, would want to, you know, have this in their meal to have energy to ruling over the good citizens of ancient Korea. Um, that is radish soup, and it helps you cleanse your palate when you're eating too many um, strong flavor food. Oh. My palate's cleansed. Clean that palate, David. Radish. It'll clean you. So these are all figs. Yeah. Wow, look at this jelly. All right, cheers, guys. Hey. Cheers. Cheers to fig jelly. 
Mm. It tastes like it kind of has a weird texture, mm. but it, it tastes nice. I, I felt the figginess. It, yeah, it's melting in my mouth. It, all right, I'm going with this green ball here. Oh, maybe should we eat it with our hands? Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be mochi-like and mm. like heavy and dense. Oh my god, so good. Mm. This one dissolves in my mouth too. Whoa. It's mm. matcha. This would make a dope cereal. Kind of tastes like green tea Kit Kat. Now we have some ancient fruit salad. Correct me if I'm wrong, ladies. I see apples, pears, and peaches. But it's not only pears, Korean pears. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are they called pe? Pe. 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 pe? It's called pe. Oh, drink the juice. That'll just, that's a good ending. Oh, that's really good. When you, when you get a bite that has like extra juice in it, mm. it's lit. I notice in Korea a lot of people go, mmm, like when they're mm, talking. Ah, mm. Mm. Wow, it's like, amazing. Mm. Damn. That's what I mean. All right, I got it. Mmm, tebak. <laughs> Potato wine in the fruit cup. Wow. Potato wine in the fruit cup. Let's go. Cheers. Come to the Joseon dynasty. To the house of Joseon. Yo, you guys, that was so good. That was the end of our nogum feast. Now, Andrew, what does nogum mean? All right, nogum, the term, is supposed to mean a dinner that you're supposed to enjoy by a scenic landscape. Okay. I did not know they had a term for that. I'm very surprised. That's very cool. Major takeaways from this dinner. It was really good to experience the food in a traditional way. We experienced the Korean food and it got me to appreciate Korean food even more. You know what I noticed is that we weren't drinking soju. We were just drinking potato wine. Soju's for the lit modern days. Potato wine to get lit back in the day. I think it's really cool because at this point in time, you know, a lot of people are talking about K-pop and like modern Korean culture, but to go back into the past and experience like ancient Korean food, I thought that was really cool. And, you know, to my surprise, I pretty much enjoyed most of it. Let's say, for example, you ate a lot in K-Town in LA or New York. Uh -huh. You could come to Korea theoretically and just do the same thing. But this is definitely something that you cannot do in the US. To have a fancy ancient dinner, a nogum dinner, you know, from the Joseon era, 1400 BC or AD. I'm sorry, <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't that old, okay. 1400 AD. I feel connected to history. What was you guys' favorite? Uh, my favorite was the dessert, the fig jellies. Fish and mushroom. All right, my favorite was either the steamed beef tongue or this bulgogi here. No, 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 I like the cabbage dumplings. That was really good. Oh, yeah, the cabbage, that was good call. Good one. cabbage dumplings. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that. The, the seafood salad. Seafood uh, salad, yeah. Seafood salad, because yeah. I did not expect uh, to see that. Chal Mogosimida. Which means thank you for the food. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Shout out to Korea House, shout out to Julia, shout out to Jasmine, and definitely big shout out to KK Day. They are a travel platform that operates in over 50 countries, over 6,000 activities. So check them out for your travel needs. We're in Seoul, Korea. Until next time, we out. Peace. I'm not Ready, Arirang, arirang, arirang.